One driver has detailed the tense conversations he had with an F1 chief about his performance. Liam Lawson has lifted the lid on his early morning phone calls with Red Bull chief Helmut Marko, during which he threatened to sack the driver if he continued to underperform. Marco has a reputation for ruthlessness in Formula One after holding a position as a senior Red Bull advisor since 2005. The 81-year-old presides over the team's junior drivers and is also a close ally of Max Verstappen. But he will be keeping a close eye on Lawson as the New Zealander takes over from Daniel Ricciardo for the remainder of the season. Lawson has six races to prove he deserves a seat under the Red Bull umbrella next season, be that at the team alongside Verstappen or with sister outfit Carb for whom he is racing for starting at the United States Grand Prix. The 22-year-old knows there is pressure on him, but that isn't anything new for Lawson as he detailed the conversations he would hold with Marco, in which the chief threatened to sack his driver for poor performance. For me, it was when I was 16 and 17 years old. My first year with Red Bull, Lawson said on the F1 Nation podcast when asked to recall Marco's cutting nature, going from not being with a junior team, and just having my guys from New Zealand, who had helped me get to where I was at that point, to then have Red Bull racing and have Dr. Marco calling and putting the pressure on you, that was what I really struggled to deal with. It's normally a 6 a.m. phone call, and it'll be, you need to perform better. Next weekend, if you don't perform better, you're in trouble. You need to basically win races. It's quite often, if you haven't had a good race, if this continues, you won't have a future with this team. It's very cutthroat. But honestly, I'm so thankful to have gone through that with Helmet. Lawson has already been given a handicap for his first race back in F1. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner confirmed that he will take a new power unit in Texas.